Hello and welcome to Lighting Talk. We are your host today. Lighting Talk is a series of five mini talks. That means you can enjoy various kind of topics at one time. And for speakers, that means they have to pitch their ideas in a very limited time. And what we do this year is,、uh, when time is running out, we will start a ten second countdown. After that, I will start the speaker immediately. Well, time's up. Today we have a bunch of speakers. Right now, are ready to share with you some bunch of interesting stuff. So I'm now just gonna to go ahead and kick off our first talk. Our first speaker is Yunichiro Tachibana. Are you ready? Oh, uh, you you mute. Your audio is cut out. Sorry, you can hear it. Oh yeah, yeah. It. Good to go.、Okay. Five minutes. Okay.、Oh. okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. A bit of trouble. All right, all right. I'll start my talk.、Uh, can Can you hear me?、Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah.、Uh, my talk title is "ST Light Serverless Streamlet,"、uh, powered by Pyodide and WebAssembly.、Uh, first of all, my name is Yuichiro Tachibana, and my GitHub and SNS name Witfix.、Uh, so please find and follow me if this talk would interest you. First of all, I would like to introduce Pyodide. That is a、uh, C Python runtime forked to JavaScript environment, including browsers and、uh, Node.js. So, and due to the birth of Pyodide, there has been、um, many、uh, various Python projects that are trying to be compatible with browser environments. I think one of the、uh, most long-lived and famous、uh, example is. Jupyter Lite, that is the fork of Jupyter project that will that is trying to be running on a browser environment. And recently,、uh, PyScript also has appeared, and、uh, web application framework from all language, Shiny, has recently released its Python version that is shipped with WebAssembly version called as Shiny Live. And in this figure, you find that an unfamiliar Title and logo ST Light here. ST Light is the main topic of this talk.、Uh, honestly speaking, this is my project that、mm -hmm. I started. I have started a couple of months ago. So <laughs> to be honest, this is kind of a promotion of my project. Anyway,、um, ST Light means Streamlit Light. Streamlit first is.、Um, Python web application framework with which developers can create interactive web application with a small amount of Python code, pure Python code, which means that、uh, we can create web application without any front-end coding. So it's very convenient framework for、uh, Python developers or data scientists, machine learning researchers, and so on. And light version means this light version is in the light world of the Jupyter light. So ST light is a、uh, WebAssembly version of Streamlit. So let's see what does it look like actually. So let's move navigate to the Streamlit. Ah,、uh, sorry, ST Lite repository and open the demo playground application from、uh, linked from here. And after the booting up process, the demo application、uh, will show up. Then you see that everything is working as. Uh, beautifully, right? And this is a, a line chat demo interact,、uh, and this is some kind of a visualization demo. This is a map demo. This is matplotlib demo with some interactive UI input. And to be honest, these demos are originally derived from the official Streamlit demo、uh, application. Oh, sorry, Streamlit documentation. But what's interesting here? What what original here is that ST Lite with ST Lite runtime, everything is working on the on the browser. You see that this application is hosted on the GitHub pages, where only static files, static HTML, static JS or CSS files only are deployable. So, and you see that if I, you know, emulate offline environment on the Dev console like this, everything is continue working on the browser environment. And in addition to that,、uh, we can you know implement some web front end from this、uh, editor, like 
this, for example, importing streamlit as ST and for example, calling ST.title with hello icon APAC 2022. Oh, sorry, import, import streamlit. All right, so you see that we can create, you know, interactively a uh, web application only with Python code. You see that what I wrote is Python code here, not JavaScript code. That's interesting. And of course you can embed any code, you know, any code with STLite runtime to your original own static HTML file following this example. Uh, so please use uh, STLite if you are interested in, in your own application to host your own interesting uh, Python application on your own website. So uh, let's uh, wrap up. STLite is a serverless streamlet. And please find this repository, which fix slash stlite on github.com. And if you're interested in this project, please put star to repository. Thank you very much. Thank you, awesome. I really like to see some live demos here in Lightning Talk. Actually, as a Pythonista, I like to see we can do some visualization in browser, of course, in Python. I, so, Josie, are you interested in this idea, or are you considered to use it in your next project? Yeah, I think this is pretty awesome project, and I may, I guess, I will give it a try. And this is really, it can build very beautiful diagrams and um, very convenient way to do uh, that uh, demo. Yeah. Great, thank, thank you. So thank you our yeah, thank you. So our next star is Tai. Tai is gonna to tell us about something about fair. Tai, good to go. You have five minutes. Oh. I, you are muted. Yes, muted. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could I speak in, in Mandarin because my topic is a bit uh, local and regional? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. 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 Uh 基本上就是說 这个台湾黑熊在台湾人的心中是非常的<笑> 然后还有我还收集了很多 这个自工建立辛苦的自工又是很漂亮的网站，基本上都会用到这些黑熊为素材。大家相信大家应该都稍微注意到，所以台湾黑熊在台湾人的心中是非常的有一。
有代表性的。那我就想说，如果这么有代表性的动物都如果在台湾都消失，像云豹这样消失的话，我们还把它当做自己的身份认同的代表，是有一点点，我自己是觉得是不太，是一个伤心的故事了。这样，所以我就想说，如果可以做出这样的网站，就可以协同保育或者研究团体来，呃，或是研究团队来，基本上来用自己的方式对。保护、保育黑熊，尽一份力。那这个网站，我们基我基我们基本上想要收集，就是募集时间还有活动痕迹。那募集时间其实是相对很低的，因为台湾黑熊很少。那比较常见，也比较常被发现，也很有价值。基本上活动痕迹，包括粪便、脚印、蚀痕，或是折肢、爪痕之类，等等等等等。那我们这个专案呢，需要的各种各式各样的人才。前端的话就是 j o s h Grid、Vue.js， 后端就是 Python 跟 Jungle。那我们会需要一些 d e v o p s 我就是基本的 Linux、Unix 操作，然后我们用 Docker 啊等等等，然后如果可以的话，嗯、呃，我们还强力征求一个 Project Manager。然后如果这些都不会的话，如果你是单纯关心台湾黑熊的话呢，这个我们也非常需要你的意见，因为我们需要 user 或用使用的意见回馈，还有呃一些甚至是专业保育上面跟黑熊有关系，这些都非常欢迎。然后大家有一个 Prototype 的网站，大家可以稍微去看一下，就是 o c e a n d s i d e 目目前那个八零八零破，那我这边还有一点点时间呢，我可以快速的来 demo 一下这个网站，基本上就是长的这个样子呢，它就是一个通报系统。然后你如果在哪里曾经看到台湾黑熊，或是看到台湾黑熊活动痕迹的话，你就可以，嗯，选择按通报，然后选择通报。哦，对，这个我们的 Cobase 是 Fork 地球公民基金会跟社群合作的一个呃网站，叫做 d i s f a c t o r y 所以如果你曾经用过 d i s f a c t o r y 网站，你会觉得蛮像的。然后就目击黑熊。下一步，然后就填一些资料、性别等等等各种，等等等等等必必须的资讯，然后再回报，然后使用者条款的姓名，因为我们，嗯、呃，我们可能会去联络，呃，通报的人，然后取得更多资讯，然后通报成功之后，你就发现在地图上有个，呃，一个做一个点点，那使用者，呃，研究人员就可以从后台去拷贝这些资料，然后做进一步的分析。谢谢大家。哦好，感谢太强。其实我个人是很喜欢看到这种，就是可以把资讯技术运用在就是非 IT 领域，像是呃宝玉这样的用途。那我觉得这其实蛮有意义的。那大家有兴趣或者是喜欢熊熊，可以联络太强。哎、欸， okay. 这里好，<笑>那就是呃熊也是，我觉得那些台湾黑熊也很可爱。因为我我虽然没有在爬山看过，但在动物园里面看到他们的，我很 happy。So 啊、呃，我觉得这个是很有意义的专案。Yeah. 好，感谢太祥。那我们下一位讲者是 Coco。Coco is gonna to tell us about something to do investment with Python. Oh, really? Go ahead,、yes. Coco. You have five minutes. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Coco. Today, my topic is investment strategy of real estate with data science and its performance. Yeah, I will tell you how I invest a、uh, real estate with data science. Okay, about me, Coco. Eh, just call me Coco. Eh, just keep the list. Okay. Uh, what 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 is my strategy? Um, um, your house. What kind of public service infrastructures among your house? For example, if your house, um, there are parks, maybe a museum, MRT, or train station, or even restaurant, Seven Eleven, that place. What kind of infrastructures in among your house? It may affect your house price. And、uh, the most popular thing is about is is three key points to invest a house, which are location, location, and location. Yeah, location is the most important thing when investing a house. And、uh, I translate the location to this kind of thing. One is type of public infrastructure. For example, MRT park, museum, Seven Eleven, this one like this, and the distance, how far between the infrastructure with your house, and the number, the what are the numbers? Yes, and、uh, I I I collected all of this data and the run lots of models such as uh Lasso, Elasticnet, uh Charge Boost, and uh Light BGN actually, yeah. I run lots of model and、uh, get some uh get 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 some result, and、uh, I can predict house price, and、uh, the currency is 
94 percent. Yeah, after in sample model, I can get the uh, least high occurrence, but it's only in Taichung apartment. Yeah, because the data of apartment is more it, it is more reliable. Yes, but uh, actually, I think it's meaningless because a predict house predict predict prediction prediction is meaningless because it's the currency even the currency is high, but uh, I cannot believe it. So I invest the house by a key feature. When I when I do last uh, operation, I find some feature are very important. So first is park, and second is restaurant, and kindergarten, shopping mall, and MRT. Yeah, these features are very, very important when, when I train the model, so I buy house, follow this, follow this, Features and uh, yeah, this is my house. Yeah, it's my night the night ball view. Yeah, that's good. And my daughter. Yeah, here's the park. Yeah, and the night night view with my daughter. Yes, yes. And uh, one of my house was rent out, and I rent out it with very cheap price. And they say, oh, forcing Fangdong, which means you are so kind, just like a Buddha. Yes. And uh, here is my investment performance for house A. Yeah, I hold them more than 10 years. And the, re the rate of return is more than 300%. And uh, a second house, yeah, hold it just two years. And uh, the rate of return is just 33%. Yeah, all house are stick to these five key features. Yeah, but... Uh, even I make some money from real estate, but uh, my investment in Bitcoin was totally a disaster. Yeah, I was here. I was here. So yeah, don't, don't, don't buy Bitcoin. You're all very careful when you want to buy Bitcoin. Yeah, another thing is everyone want to me open source the list data. I, I must say no because it's illegal in Taiwan. Yeah, the law in Taiwan is really weird. So yeah, illegal. So I only can use by myself. Okay, so let's conclusion. Yeah, use features to invest a house rather than prediction house price because prediction is not reliable. But if you follow those key feature, your house must rise. And the sticker to sticker to key feature, you can buy, you can make money, and then be careful if you if you want to buy Bitcoin. Okay, and the last thing is, uh, I am a member of Chatbot Develops Taiwan. So if you are interested in Chatbot, uh, uh, including Line, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, something like this, then you can join us. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you, Kao Kao. I think this stuff is very useful for sound of us, very practical. And right now, we have three very different and three very interesting topics. Uh, what do you think? Are you think of they are interesting to you or sound of uninspiring? I don't know because I can't see your face. And right now, most of you should be watching this live stream on our Galatang space. So before we move on to our next speaker, I decide to ask my friend Bo Jun to tell us about what's going on there. So Bo Jun, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yo, 那可見Lightning 
哦，超级太强还能业余哦，的确是超级太强。好，超级黑熊 ，OK。好，网友医生医生表示，动物园的熊很 happy。我看影片也觉得他们 happy 的。好，那网友 Benson 表示说，看到黑熊要装死还是要跑？这个我看后面也会回答。哦，宽表示说，要眼睛对着黑熊向后跑。眼睛对着黑熊笑话，好像难度好点高哎，感觉要训练一下。好，我看我们下一个转弯的。九九等表示说都这么准时。对，记者 P A 表示说都没有都没有线可以拔，感觉有点可惜。好，我觉得冠图喊呼声很像吸尘器的声音，好像有道理。搞不好我拿吸尘器的声音也不会有人发现。那接下来我们这个我们这有收到几位职工对于前几个讲者的心得，那我们就以这个一个心得来作为收尾吧。好，那对于第一位场第一场 POK， 那职工们表示，呃 ，SD Lite 看起来很好用，它的能力很方便，那期待应用到下一个专案中。谢谢外国朋友的分享。好，那对于第二场 POK， 那职工们表示，熊出没，应该是熊出没。是是哦，熊先生表示说，他们也有来过 Sprint， 那期待明年去参与，希望这类为在地付出的专案能越来越多。好，那对第三场 Talk 表示，职工们觉得说这个专案很实用，我也想我也很想要知道说我家附近有多少公共设施呢，这样就不用单方面接受防重资讯了，就不会有黑心防重专家差了。那感谢 Coco 的贡献。好，那谢谢上述职工的分享。那为了避免压缩到后续讲的时间，我们把我们把画面还给棚内主播主持人。好，谢谢博俊的分享。让我们看到现在状况，然后接下来我们还有两两位讲者要分享哦。第一位是 TP，TP TP 要跟我们分享一些应该是 Python packaging 有关的事情。那 TP 交给你喽。好，呃，我刚以为我一开始以为 Dining Talk 是五分钟，但呃是三分钟，但发现有五分钟，然后讲不完，所以我决定中文跟英文各讲一次。So I thought the Lightning Talk was was three minutes, but actually it's five. So I'm going to try talk about this topic in English and Mandarin once each. Okay. So before I talk about anything, I have a an open space tomorrow to talk about is therefore actually good because I don't have enough content. So this is just put up. To say to 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 give me some time, so if you're interested in airflow, I think there are a couple of people talking about airflow today, and please join me tomorrow in the open space. I, I don't know which table, but just the open space. Okay, 好，明天一个就是明天一个 airflow， 这个跟我要讲的主题完全没有关系，但是因为明天就是我要想要找大家用 airflow 的人一起来聊个天，然后批判一下 airflow。所以，如果你明天下午有空的话，欢迎来加入我们。好，好不过我不是要讲这个，我我今天是要讲的，就是 Python Software Foundation 昨天发了一个 tweet， 就是要大家去填一个叫做 Python Packaging Survey， 然后可以在这边找到。So this, uh, that was wasn't what I'm going to try to tell you today, right now. What I'm trying to say is that Py Python Software Foundation just tweeted yesterday or like earlier today. Early in the morning, there is a Python packaging survey for you to fill out, and this is a big QR code. And I would like to dedicate all my all the rest of my time for you to scan this QR code and fill in the survey right now. 好，所以这个就是刚刚那个网址的 QR code。所以我希望就是现在就是填在这个画面，然后看可以填多久，然后让大家赶快去扫这个 QR code， 然后赶快填完，就这样子。这个 Q 这个应该。没有很长，大概三分钟可以填完。然后那个就是 country 的选项，昨天是没有台湾的。然后刚刚我回报之后，今天有加台湾的。所以如果你去昨天填，然后发现不能填台湾的话，今天可以再填一次。好，放三十秒，快点，大家，博君帮我看一下，帮我监视一下 ，get it on， 大家努力的在填。我们是挡到，不会啊 ，QR code auto correction， 这样应该是 OK。Oh, okay. 可以帮我看一下 Get Town 的 Chat 有没有什么反应
好，看起来是没有问题，那就这样，谢谢大家。好，感谢 TV 的分享，大家记得去填哦。那再来是我们最后一讲，最后一位讲者李维，李维要跟我们分享一下拍抗，哎，后面接了一段 regular expression。好，不管李维，你自己讲吧 ，Go。啊、我我没有打算讲，然后 go、uh, I think I, I've already shared my screen, and I didn't notice that we should use English on this talk, so I'll try to use English. But anyway, so I first of all, I'm Wei and if you run into me, and um, please chat with me. And、uh, this is my avatar. So yeah, back to the back to the May.、Uh, we supposed to submit a talk to Coast Cup Open World Tour, but yeah, we just forget it. So yeah, and after that. But why not just、uh, submit a cost cut lightning talk? But yeah, we are not chosen, so so that's one of the reason why I submit to this lightning talk. And yeah, this time I've chosen. And this topic is、uh, something about the one of the question about、uh, on the talk in for by Ikebo. I can share some story about traveling. So yeah,、uh, so anyway, this is a regular expression. You don't. Uh, I don't think you want to、uh, speak a little something. Yeah. So、uh, this is my first Python tour、uh, after、uh, a few Python Taiwan, and this is Python US、uh, like three years ago. And yeah, this is the cat of my landlord、uh, in Airbnb, and this is the、uh, their job there, which is super huge compared to all the conferences I attended、uh, in the past. And this this is their Kino,、uh, this was their Kino conference,、uh, Kino run, and、uh, which is super huge. There was probably around a thousand people there,、uh, which is super huge. And and then they have interesting open spaces like board games, Switch, and let's watch Game of Thrones together. So、uh, we'll have open space tomorrow, and I'd like to invite you to hold your own open space as well. And this is their open space. This was their open space as well. It's About yoga and yeah, it, they're just doing yoga in their hallway, which was super cool. And they do have some、um, post event pa-、uh, after party、uh, hosted by、uh, various、uh, tech company or something like that. But we still ha- can have host our one if you you know someone、uh, live near your space. And yeah, the next one is Python Japan. We、uh, YYC group. A visiting group from Python Taiwan, and we visit、uh, our friends in Python Japan. And this is the、uh, speaker night、uh, dinner together. I kind of get it, but yet as a lightning talk speaker, I can join this this dinner. It's pretty cool, and yet we have a discussion、uh, with our friends in、uh, Python Japan. And our friend in Python Japan also made a poster for us to、uh, promote Python Taiwan in a conference. Yeah,、uh, the next one.、Uh, this is the first PyCon I ever spoke,、uh, which is PyCon Canada. That book,、uh, uh, a hotel, I believe. And anyway, and this is their. This was their spring, and which they have a two day spring, which I made a few contribution to one of the project I was I now maintaining, which is committees and tools. And this one does not match the regular expression. It's remote Python pizza. The first.、Uh, The first remote conference, and yeah, we do have pizza on my home and Euro Python.、Uh, I was going, I was planning to visit Dublin last year, but yeah, you know, because of COVID, yeah, and that was my topic. And even that was a, a virtual conference. They still have some interesting topic、uh, in their open space, and this was、uh, a, a man teaching、uh, how we can prepare. Mate, I believe it's pronounced as mate. Anyway, it's just some kind of tea from South South America, something like that. I'm not sure, super sure, but yeah, they are really make, making mate in the conference, and yeah, it's Python Apex 2022, and yeah,、uh, it was going, it was a Latin talk for promoting Python Apex 2022. But since you're already here, so yeah, I can promote Python Taiwan 2023. And yep, if you are interested in joining us, you can scan this QR code. So yeah, let's three. There are three actions that you can try try after this Python talk. The first one is you can register the open space tomorrow, and the second one you, can, you should participate in both、uh, booth game and 
when you're a free pipe on ticket, so you can like visit a lot of big places like what we do. And the last thing is that you should register uh, PyCon Taiwan 2023 volunteers. Yeah, we are looking forward to see you next year. And I will stop the screen on this page. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. What a gorgeous experience. Thank you for sharing. And now, all right, so lastly, the end of the lighting talk today. Thank you all for joining. And we will do this again tomorrow. So please come and watch the show. Also, I want to thank you all speakers here. And if any of you want to be a speaker to, you know, you have some idea to share less interesting to other Python people, you have a last chance. Please submit me your idea by noon tomorrow, our morning, our evening, depending on where you are. And now uh, you can check out your, uh, also you can check out some information we published earlier or ask stuff nearby you. And now we will take a break. And after the break, uh, our chair, Debbie, will do the closing for us. So bye for now. <laughs>